It's full steam ahead for parade preps in Plymouth as the final touches are now underway for America's hometown Thanksgiving parade, which will step off Saturday morning here in town. This year is a, is a monumental year for a lot of reasons. This is Ollie DiMacito's 25th parade, 21st as its executive director. He says the 21 floats, 12 bands, dozens of reenactors and surprises are all to celebrate and help tell America's story. We have moments in history that America paused to give thanks. So you'll be seeing different floats of moments in history that, you know, America paused to give thanks. And there's a lot to be thankful here in the United States of America. Lovely. Constructing these floats is quite the undertaking for this all volunteer crew. A lot of work parade goers will never see. Well, we take apart buses, uh, motorhomes, you know, little cars, big cars, and most of these floats underneath them, you'll there'll be a buried car or a truck or a bus. What I love about this whole event is that it's all grassroots people. It's people that have normal jobs, work every day from you know seven to three or four, and then they come here in the afternoons and in weekends, and we put these floats together. There is always something new for this annual celebration. This year, WCVB will proudly be broadcasting the parade and all its splendor live on Channel 5. Being televised live is great because you get to share with all New England. Uh, people will be able to see it from everywhere. If you plan on coming down to Plymouth to see the floats and the parade for yourself in person, Parade organizers are saying get down to the waterfront and be up on that hill by no later than 9 a.m. There will be shuttle buses running from exits 13 and 17 just off of Route 3. In Plymouth, I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, News Center 5.